Hey everybody, I'm Eric. And I'm Connor, and welcome back to our vlog. Special fire, what is the address of the emergency? What's on fire? Hostile reporting planes coming from the roof. LPDs arriving on scene, stating fire in the stairwells as well. Doors, the flames seem to come out the unit itself. Doors are being trapped, but there's an older lady that lives there. She's not seen. Right, medium size, two story, multi family. We have uh, smoke complaint charges. Alpha side. Hey everybody, it's great to see you all again. We have so enjoyed bringing you some day in the life videos. We'll continue doing those and we'll have a tease at the end of this video of what you can expect on Fleet Friday next week. But let's dive right into what we've been busy with. This week on Monday, President's Day for the holiday, we had an MVA into a building call. So that came in at 9, 10 a.m. in the city of Littleton. When firefighters arrived on scene on Dry Creek Court, they found that a car had run through the front of a bar and restaurant called the boardroom and was still running inside. At the time, there was no driver or anybody on scene from that car, but uh, they made sure to clear the area. They took some stabilizing supplies to be able to secure the building so that people could go in and out to further investigate this crash. It turns out Littleton Police Department, in gathering further details, they found out that there was a robbery that took place at 5.40 that morning and they had surveillance cameras of the people that had done this. So LPD is investigating that case, but a pretty crazy uh, scene to come up to, having a car running inside of a restaurant but nobody around. So that happened on Monday. Also this week, February 20th, marked the 39th anniversary of engineer John Wood Sr.'s line of duty death. He was with the Parker Fire Department at the time and was working a wildland interface fire in the rural areas east of the town of Parker and suffered a heart attack and died. So um, for every single line of duty death that we've ever had at South Metro, yearly we will do a remembrance ceremony for them at the Fallen Firefighters Memorial. This one was really cold. Um, it was single digits, but um, that doesn't stop Honor Guard, Pipes and Drums, and all of our personnel from taking uh, a moment to remember the sacrifice that he made. Freeze it! Oh! Attention all personnel. Today, February 20th, 2020, marks the 39th anniversary of engineer John Wood Sr.'s line of duty death while with the Parker Volunteer Fire Department. Engineer Wood was operating a brush truck and suffered a heart attack while fighting a large wildland fire located east of Pine Drive and south of the Homestead Hills Subdivision Park. In honor and remembrance of John Wood Sr.'s service and sacrifice to our community, please share with us in a moment of silence. South Metro has an awesome wellness bureau and you've probably already seen some of their work in the Fire Academy video series, but wellness is more than just physical wellness, it's also mental wellness. And we're really excited to bring neurofeedback in-house at South Metro. And I didn't know very much about it, so I talked to our wellness bureau manager and also to the neurofeedback clinician here at South Metro to get a better idea of what it looks like and what it does. And it's super cool, check this out. What a lot of our men and women have as a result of their career is this underlying anxiety and we've never been able to put a name to it and what we what we've learned through um, the modality of neurofeedback is that that underlying anxiety is really that hyper arousal or hyper vigilance that makes us good at our job right so if we've been in the in the job for 10 20 or 30 years we develop this um, this hyper vigilance where we're always ready for the next call we're able to go into a fire. We're able to um, manage a cardiac arrest in public with citizens watching. And we're able to endure all that. Um, but that that same mechanism that makes us good at our job makes makes life difficult for us sometimes. So what we've learned through neurofeedback is that we, we have this high beta wave activity. That's that's that hyper arousal, hyper vigilance going off when it shouldn't go off. 
So if I'm if I'm with my kids at a, at a sporting event or I'm at, at Sunday church and all of a sudden I feel this underlying anxiety, like I don't know where that's coming from. And what neurofeedback has done for us is it's normalized and it's created this awareness of what's really happening. And so, so instead of talk therapy, our men and women are going to neurofeedback. They have an EEG performed, and so they have basically a brain map done, a roadmap of their brain and their brainwave activity, so we can see how their transition is, how they should be when they sleep, and how they should be when they're aroused. And by doing that map, it shows the anomalies, the things that shouldn't be happening. And then neurofeedback is able to run a protocol. It's not talk therapy. Our men and women can just go in and sit. The electrodes are attached to their head. They don't really have to interact much with the clinician. And, and over a course of 20 or 30 sessions, their brain is being remapped or retrained on how to, how to interpret stimulation. And so they can go, go to that sporting event or go to church and be calm and relaxed and not get caught into that high beta wave environment. So today, we're at over 45 members in treatment. And so being able to collaborate with that provider and do neurofeedback in our, in our headquarters building is significant. Next week, we're going to bring you guys a Fleet Friday video. Eric and I know you guys love them and you're always wanting more of them. So I kind of like them too. They're really fun. And we're going to be doing one per month. So mm -hmm. just stay tuned for this next one and then we'll do a next one in March. Um, but it's going to be our tracked vehicle, tracked vehicle 46. Mm -hmm. You guys may have seen it in the bomb cyclone video uh, that was on our YouTube page from last year. But we're going to show you in depth of what this looks like. It is the most interesting piece of apparatus mm -hmm. to see as well as ride in so we're gonna bring you that next Friday and we can't wait and it's been the snowy conditions recently yeah. for it to really perform well in the snow so stay tuned for that and I was stuck in a meeting while Connor got to go and film this. So, <laughs> so cool. you get to see the same preview that I get to see. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to go out there and see all the cool stuff that they did. But we'll get to see this for the first time together now. Here's a sneak peek at some of that video for Fleet Friday coming up next week. We have a bunch of patch shout outs this week and we've got a really, yeah. really cool collection. So <laughs> excited to show you these. Uh, the first one I have is Lander Rural Fire District from Wyoming, so not too far from Colorado. Mm -hmm. That one's pretty cool. I've got Island County Washington Fire District, also a really unique one. And then we have a handful of them from North Whidbey Fire District, also in Washington. So a patch style badge. This version of the patch, which is Marine Rescue and has a life preserver on it. This one is really awesome. Mm -hmm. It's also North Whit Whitby. It's got their bridge and trees on the side of it. So a really colorful one, um, lots of detail in that. A lot of thought was put into that one. That's a really neat one. And then a Washington State Emergency Medical Technician patch. The last patch that I have is from Dizzy from Worcester, Massachusetts. And this one is really special. This is the 20th anniversary patch of the cold storage warehouse fire from Engine 3, Ladder 2, and Rescue 1. So we're really excited to put uh, these ones up on our, on our hose line. And Dizzy, thanks for sending this to us. Your buffing videos <laughs> are awesome. All right, so I have a stack over here as well. The first one is from, I'm gonna say it a few different ways in case I, if I still butcher it, I really apologize. <laughs> we have Shoshone County or Shoshone County Fire Department uh, District 1, and that one is from Osborne, Idaho. Very cool, awesome, thank you. This one is Harmony 22, oh wait, Harmony Fire District. And that one is from Pennsylvania, and they are known as uh, the Roadhouse out there. Okay, we also have Crystal Fire Department. This is in Arkansas. And they also sent us one of their challenge coins. Thank you so much, you can see that one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have Los Angeles County Sheriff. 
And this last one, I have a little blurb about this. This is the PCU Iowa, and it's one of the morale patches. So this is from a petty officer in Connecticut. He's a nuclear reactor operator. I had to write all this down, I couldn't yeah. memorize it. And he's currently assigned to the pre-commissioning unit Iowa, which is one of the nation's newest Virginia class nuclear powered fast attack submarines that's under construction. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, that one is insane. So thank you all so much for these patches. We can't wait to add them to our growing collection. You all just rock. Totally. So cool. Yeah. And thank you for all of your great ideas, your great questions and feedback for the channel. Um, we've seen the numbers just go insane mm -hmm. on the Day in the Life videos, so we know that everyone wants to see more of those. And we've got a few more planned throughout the rest of the year. We're gonna bring one of those to you every month mm -hmm. and keep giving us suggestions on those. I won't reveal the secret about <laughs> what one is coming next we have one in the until maybe next week, and then you'll <laughs> see what we're working on there. Um, but we've got uh, officer, paramedic, dispatch, uh, battalion chief, safety officer. Those are some of the positions that have been listed before. So if you have some ideas for us, please let us know and uh, we'll see what we can do to make those happen. And as always, uh, please continue to like, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Find that subscribe, subscribe button, yes. you guys can find it. Smash it, <laughs> and uh, share our videos with uh, people who may not have seen them yet. We really appreciate all, all of your support. You guys are amazing, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.